thank you very much for taking the time to have this interview with us. And I would like to start by saying that you have a really remarkable career. And I would like to know what actually made you choose this career in the first place. And if you would choose it again, if you were to, to choose another career path, yes? Uh, well, my father had a PhD in chemistry and worked at the uh, Atomic Energy Agency. Uh, so f I grew up seeing him and for me it was always about entering either the scientific or the uh, uh, technical field. Um, what I like about IT in specific uh, is that um, you create software and I like creating things. So. For me, it's cool to um, write software and then see a result afterwards um, of the work that I put in. That's why I chose this path. Yeah. Well, today there is a very big discussion about this glass ceiling and the very low number of women which we are in the technology industry. And I wanted to ask you how difficult was it for you to personally advance in your career within the companies that you've been working for? Well, I think the glass ceiling issue is something that will come across when you're further in your career. So I personally have not experienced anything like it. Um, I also think that especially in the technology se uh, sector, uh, if you are a woman with the technical skills, the glass ceiling uh, will not matter so much because in this industry, uh, the focus is really on your qualifications and on your skills. I know Microsoft is a very big supporter of women in technology, and I would like to know how important it was for your professional development, this support, and how it manifested. For me, it was very important. Um, I did want to have a job uh, that suits uh, according to my qualification and skills. But since I also have a small child, it was important for me to have a job where I can manage my work-life balance well um, and continue with my career at the same time, um, also focus on my family. And Microsoft uh, is a company that enabled me to do that. Uh, in this regard, um, I really think uh, it's very good for women to work here because we also have other kinds of programs uh, that helps women um, to manage uh, children and work at Microsoft. And lately, do you think that there have been a lot of progress in this regard comparing to the past years? Um, just at Microsoft or in general? In general, if you also know. Mm, I'm not sure. Uh, specifically, I work with uh, software developers, so I often um, give talks at events targeted at software developers, and I notice in my audience that there are very, very few women um, among the software developers, and I think the situation needs improvement. Uh, I also know that when I studied, there were more women so uh, studying with me um, uh, IT so I was it makes me wonder where those women are and um, so for me personally I also like to do activities to change the situation as far as I can myself do you think that the discussions are too centered on women and somehow the men are just left apart do you have an advice in this regard well, I think it's a big challenge to do or to start any discussion uh, with the name women in it because automatically men will feel left out or not addressed. Um, but I think the most important thing for this situation is that um, also men take part in this discussion uh, because it's not an issue that's just for women. Uh, we live together as a whole society um, and are product most productive if we all contribute um, to this uh, society. So we should have a, d a dialogue and discussion together. Yeah. Thank you very much again for taking the time and I hope we will see you on our future events too. Thank you.